Hey guys, thanks for clicking. We appreciate that. So today we're gonna do a little um, tree cleanup. Actually, it's three trees, they're dogwood trees, so they're not big trees, but um, they're old and they're kind of rotten and uh, they need to go. So we are just prepping here in the shop, uh, get ready. This is a close to home job, which is awesome because um, not a lot of travel time. So let's just uh, see what we got going on. Chainsaw prep time. I like to make sure that everything is good before we go out because, you know, you take a few minutes in the morning, make sure you got good chains, make sure it's cleaned out. So that's what we're doing now. And uh, we're gonna get this all prepped and ready. And then we'll head over to the job. All right, so here we are on the job. We are taking down these three trees here. Like I said, they're not totally dead, but they're pretty shot and uh, the customer wants them out. So we're going to clean these up and get the job done. Then we will take the stumps out too, which the two of them aren't too bad. This one's got kind of a long extension on it there, but we're going to get them cleaned up. This, you can see this one's cracked. It's cracked right in half all the way down and there's a lot of rot on it. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And this one, you can see there's a, it's just time for them to go, I think. See, there's a lot of bad.
All right, so we're making some progress here. We're getting it cleaned up. We got one down, chopped. Now we're working on this one. This is the biggest of the three. So now I'm gonna show you guys a little tip. I don't know, maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Any of you expert guys will probably laugh at me, but we're gonna drop this limb here, this one going out. I don't think it's tied up into the other one. It might be or it might not be. You have to be careful when you do that, but I'll show you a quick little technique how I do it. So. For this branch, we're not just gonna cut it like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along the bottom here, like this. Probably, you know, maybe not halfway through, but we're gonna cut like that. And then when we go to cut the top part, we're gonna go back about four or five inches. Sorry about that. So from here, we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna go back about four or five inches, and we'll come down here, because that way, when the branch falls, it'll actually uh, go away from the tree instead of if you just made a straight cut here then the branch would kind of fall and then it would fall back against the tree so the idea is when you're cutting a hanging limb is you want the limb to actually fall away from the tree not to fall against the tree i see a lot of people on ladders make this mistake and you know the branch comes back and hits the ladder and they end up on the ground and you can really get hurt <laughs> And never underestimate the size of a tree like this is not a big tree by any means but it'll still get you because let me tell you what trees trees want to kill you they just do so i'll show you my little technique we'll see how it works out and uh, hopefully it helps you Okay, so here was the, uh, the cut that we made. Like I said, make your initial bottom cut here. And then when you cut into it, you can cut on a little bit of an angle if you want, or you can cut straight down depending on the lean of the branch. But when you cut here and then you back cut, I don't know what the proper term is, but when the branch comes down, it pushes against this, which actually sends the branch away from the tree. Because I'm sure you've, if you've ever cut branches, sometimes you cut it and then it falls and then it pinches your saw. So you're usually always safe if you use that little method right there. I don't know, maybe you know better, but that one works for me. Okay, so same thing, I did the, uh, you know, the cut here and then I did the back cut on that branch too.
All right guys, so that's it. It was a lot of branches, but we got those three down. Um, now we're gonna come back. We'll probably make a separate video out of the stumps. We're gonna take these three stumps down with the uh, stump grinder machine. And these have a lot of black ants in it, so we're gonna take that separately. I don't wanna mix it with the other wood because there was a lot of good wood in there. And then we're just gonna take the blower and clean this mess up. But yeah, that, that, was, um, that was pretty much it. There is the finished product. We ground the stumps down. Um, we just raked them out for now. He didn't want to do the topsoil right away, but uh, for now it looks pretty good. Cleaned it up, vacuumed it, and uh, job done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Peace.